and kablamo we are back it is what oh my god it's 19 march 2022 and we're going to talk about raptorium today raptorium was down in the weeds we were down low it was uh, costing more electricity than it was to uh, mine the coin but uh, i was doing it for uh, speculation just to get a bag of raptorium and hopefully it's starting to pay off because we are now up from 0 0.00 3.04 uh, cents, fractions of a penny, up 7%. And it's looking, it's always good to see green. So this is why I made this video. Just to say, keep doing what you're doing. When everyone else is fear, oh, doom and gloom, just keep mining, keep mining, keep stacking the coins, get them in your wallet, get them off the exchanges. BlockFi had a uh, third party hack or something happened or break in or leak of information, but they say it wasn't on their main servers where all the important um, um, know your customer information is. And I said, oh man, I'm so glad I got all my crypto off of BlockFi and into a hard wallet. Yeah, you, you're kind of messing, you're, your risk is high. You're, you're playing Russian roulette with this exchanges with having your money out there like that on a BlockFi, on a Coinbase. You are putting your crypto in a centralized, vulnerable location for many reasons. If government wants to freeze all crypto, they got you right there. If they want to allow people or have vulnerabilities that they haven't covered, they can be hacked. It's just not a good thing. Use it to move your stuff around and get out. That's my advice. Anyway, how did I get on that? I have no idea. Anyway, Raptorium is uh, moving up. We are at... We are at a, uh, let's say almost to one penny, baby. Woo, one penny. Isn't that sad that you're hoping for one penny? But yeah, that's pretty cool. So I always go here to coin market cap. And you look at the volume, it's ranked 44.97. It's actually on coin market cap. So as far as speculation, it's kind of a solid, kind of a known coin, which is good. Some coins like Baby, and I don't even think Avion, I don't think Avion is even on. Raptor, um, oh my God, on coin market cap. Speaking hard. <clears throat> so let's go on. Where are we? We are again March 19th. What's the market doing? Come on, big money, coin360.com load. This is a browser intensive application, but it's kind of cool to see the visual. Blammo, 41892 on Bitcoin. Oh, Ethereum is still below 3,000. Interesting. But that's good. I'll just keep stacking because I am mining Ethermine right now. But anyway, what I wanted to show you was Raptorium over here on Mining Pool Stats. And I am on the Minifacil. Minifacil. I have no idea how to say that. I am on this mining pool. I am paying 0% zero per, zero pool fee. And let's see. There's uh, 6,200 miners on it. This might be the number two pool right now next to Flock Pool. Uh, I think so. Just a quick eyeball. So like mine, great mine, sink alike. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> All right. So I'm on Minifacil and I'm getting some yummy Raptorium right now. I took a couple days last week to get some baby coin just for fun. I don't know to see if I can do it. And I was looking at Pulsar as well. And uh, I decided, no, I'm going to stick with their Pulsar coin right down here at the bottom left. Yeah, PLSR. I was going to do that, but I said, no, 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 no. Let me get to my goal. Set my goal, stick with it. And I just want to keep stacking Raptorium. Speculation gets keep loading up. And uh, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And I do have it over in um, inode Z. And you can see the price here on inode Z. I got it in some smart nodes. And uh, yeah, we're up, uh, up 11% in the past seven days. A good trend it's not just a it's not just a daily spike so that's a good sign I'm kind of pleased that I came across Raptorium and started mining it uh, I'm not making really any money but again it's for the long term in the hopium the hopium that this coins gonna go up uh, yeah it did spike <clears throat> it did spike where did it spike oh Jesus all right here we go it did spike up to eight cents baby we're not talking $62,000 like Bitcoin, but we're talking eight cents. But look where it's at now, almost to one cent right here, right? 0 
So 0.09 rounding error, right? And you go back up to the peak here, which is, oh gosh, come on. I can't go right on. The, there we go. It won't. 0.07, almost 0.08, right? That was in November of 2021. I don't know. Whenever I, this, this actually mirrors the Bitcoin price from 2016 to 2017 when it went up to 20K, then brrr, went right back down. So will Raptorium repeat that pattern and shoot back up to, you know, the same relationship, the parabolic? Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. This is all for fun. This is all entertainment. But again, people that were buying Bitcoin in 2014, people said, what are you doing? You're wasting your money. What is this crap? You're just throwing money away, dude. These people are now financially independent, not sitting in a cubicle working for some toxic person. Uh, they're out. They got financial wealth. They probably put in some secure place, which is really not many options these days. But uh, they have financial independence, and now they're doing what they want to do. Again, retirement isn't just sitting around wasting your life watching the programmable television, which programs you. It's uh, going out and doing what you want to do with your life because you don't get time back, folks. You don't get time back. You can get money back. You can always re earn your wealth. You just cannot get that time back. So there, yeah. Look at that. So that's my goal is uh, people laugh. Why are you wasting your money? Why, why are you wasting time and electricity on this? Hey, man, if this goes back to $0.08 cents and I look at what I got, that could help pay for some of my equipment. You know, you just don't know. In 200 days, it has gone up. Really? Is that right? I'll have to look at that. How many days has it been since November? 30, 60, 90. I don't know. I'll have to check that that number here. Uh, we are at the market cap rank of 1021. And we can go over to the blockchain. 64.1% uh, circulating supply in smart nodes. They got 464 active smart nodes. Uh, 491 smart node number. And the ROI is 0.603%. The daily ROI is 0.086. Monthly ROI is 2.586. Yearly is 31.47. I mean, again, this is passive income, folks. You can you can do what you want. I know I said exchanges and stuff is dangerous, but this this is a risk I'm willing to take because it is such a low fiat dollar equivalent amount that I just want to see how this works as a use case. Basically from mining Raptorium to putting into my wallet to moving it over to a smart node and then getting compounded interest rewards on a, I guess, weekly basis, right? Yeah, so there you go. You can look here and click on payments. You can see how my payments have gone as I add more and more Raptorium as I mine it. Once I get a thousand a week or so, every five or six days, five days, I think I get a thousand Raptorium, I will move it up to my holding address on inode and then they will move it into a smart node for me. Yeah, you can see all my payments here. I got 44 uh, rewards, 50, 35. Pretty cool. I think it's a good use case. Again, I'm not, I don't, the only way I'm going to get wealthy all this is if Raptorian goes to a buck or something. <laughs> but, you know, who knows? So there we go. Raptorian looking good. If you're not sure what to mine, which CPU, look at Raptorian. Just put your CPUs on that. Sure, you're not going to see Bitcoin pricing, obviously. But who knows what tomorrow may bring? You may you may uh, strike it strike it good with this coin. Uh, I like that it's out there. It's on Coin Market Cap. It's uh it's got exchange access. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. All right, guys, that's all I got. Short video on Raptorium. It's looking like it's ticking up, and other things are ticking up slightly as well. We got to see a green, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Not financial advice, just entertainment. But dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging across any type of investment seems to be one of the better strategies because you kind of level out the highs and lows. And if you're buying Tesla stock or Apple, I don't know, or Bitcoin or whatever, you just put a couple bucks here every week or every month and then you hopefully hit the highs and lows and it averages it out. Hey, I got a Verizon bill. All right. Oh, we got an ad. Uh, always notifications, you know? All right. Go forth to great things. Go out and have fun. Get outside. Get some sunshine. Uh, sometimes when investing, it's sometimes best just to walk away and do nothing, you know. But then again, if you're dollar cost averaging, you just, you know, you don't worry about, oh, my God, that I just put a lot of money at the high, all-time high. And you go by the sayings that have been around a long time. There's a reason they've been around a long time. When there's uh, fear and blood in the streets, you buy. When there's greed 
you start selling because everyone's buying in FOMO, fear of missing out. They're starting to buy at all time highs and you're going, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, should I take profits now? Yes. That is my, that is, that's, that, that's almost sound advice sometimes. And I never did that until this past year. And I took profits and I, I, I took my original cost basis out and left my profits in. And I, it was like playing with house money. And it was awesome because I felt good. I got my money out. And then the profits I made were in there rolling yet. And they kept growing and growing. It was a Tesla. And I kept making more and more money. I said, man, this is awesome. And then I saw what was happening with the economy based on the current administration. And I said, I'm pulling out. I just got out just in time. And then Tesla tanked. And I felt good about that. I'm sitting in Fiat, which again is not a safe place either. So I'm looking maybe to buy back into Tesla, but it kind of spiked on Friday. So I'm not sure what to do. And I also set up another Roth account where I, ha I can contribute another couple thousand bucks to my 2021 taxes. And I'm trying to get that money over to, uh, is it iTrust, iShares? I forget what it is, iShares? Oh, I forget what it's called. One of those, iTrust, iShares, whatever. I think it's iTrust Capital. And then you can have a Roth set up to buy crypto and you are then shielded from capital gains long and short term. And it's in your Roth retirement account. It's almost a almost the only benefit right now to invest in because the government takes everything else they can from you to keep you broke. Uh, yeah, so the Roth is the one thing. If you can maximize your Roth account and you can even, um, uh, not backdoor Roth, I forget what it is. If you have IRA stuff, oh, Roth, uh, IRA conversions to Roth, you can look at that as well. Get more information at Google that and uh, talk to a financial advisor on that. Again, this is just from my experience. I'm not telling anybody what to do, right? But uh, there's ways to do it. But there we go. That's just a, today's Saturday rant on Raptorium. Investing philosophy, uh, blah, blah, blah. What, I, what has worked for me? What has not worked? I usually tell people to do the opposite of what I do because, again, I buy stuff and it usually tanks 20%, you know, but... I've been holding. I learned not to sell crypto because once I sell it, the thing shoots up. Basic attention token shot up. Once I sold it at 30 cents, 25, 30 cents, shot up to a buck. Believe it or not. And uh, Ethereum, I had it at 1300 and dumped it. And then thing shoots up to 4K. I went, no, oh, stop the madness. Uh, right now, if I don't need the money, I'm just going to keep it in there or keep holding it. And uh, I'm trying to get as much off the exchanges as possible into a hard wallet because I'm getting a little nervous with the BlockFi incident the uh, vulnerability there. Coinbase seems a little sketch for some reason. I don't know if they're, they're having issues. I don't know. I just don't trust some of these well-known big guys. They seem to be big targets for, um, for a bad people to go after. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Take care. Go out. And uh, let me know what you guys are doing with your crypto. I'm curious. All right. Talk to you there. Bye. Blah, 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 blah. All right, how do I stop the video? Stop the video.